let's get the obvious out of the way. I'm still wearing an Argentina shirt. Um, you might call it delusional. I think there's still a chance. I still <laughs> have a little hope. Uh, no, I actually don't. Um, although Argentina has a great record against Nigeria and Africa, African teams in general, uh, this might be the one time that it fails them. But there's still a chance and this might be the last time I'm wearing an Argentina shirt during this World Cup, so I thought let's take that chance. But we're here to talk about Group G, which is now the goal scoring group. England 6, Panama 1 and they are now level, 6 points qualified, same as Belgium, both 8 goals for, 2 goals against. Uh, the game itself started actually quite weird with Panama botching a really big chance uh, where I said oh I'm worried about this England defense and to be honest yes um, when it counted it didn't look as good as you would like to see it but then they scored uh, the first goal by Stones uh, through standard situation where uh, yeah you can see that they were um, practicing that, that he started out of the box and then run himself free. I think that against a better organized team, there's no chance that he will be that free and will uh, make that goal personal feeling. Uh, but seemingly people were uh, centered on Kane. Then a penalty that uh, in the replay didn't look as much like a penalty as when you saw it in open play. But when I saw it in open play, uh, I, was a clear penalty he was just ran over so wonderful penalty by the way um take note an english player scoring a great penalty if every penalty is scored that's in the corner high there no goalkeeper can save that one so that's something um to note and it has to also be said that maybe i uh, know it has also be said i want to see this in a more pressure pack situation and then England let it loose and they did exactly what I wanted them to do uh, against Tunisia where you had the feeling that yeah you gotta score the goals against a lesser opponent and you gotta keep the pressure and that's exactly what they did. They scored a wonderful third goal for Lingard with a nice one too I think with Sterling uh, curled it in the corner. Uh, best goal of the day uh, was a real beauty. Closely followed by the fourth one which was a nice free kick um, com 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 combination. Um, free kick to Kane uh, at the edge of the box he lobs it ahead uh, goes to Sterling in the middle who got his shot saved his header uh, but fortunately there were stones to make his second then there was another penalty and at this point the game got a little bit ugly I think you could see the frustration of Panama you can already see it after the penalty when they tried to make this really fast kickoff um, where I don't know where they get this idea from the referee needs to restart the game. You cannot restart it by yourself. You cannot make this surprise attack. This is not handball or basketball or anything like that. The referee has to restart it. And I think that caused some bad blood and I think that got England going uh, in, in a way. England didn't uh, play uh, in any way maliciously, but Panama did. I think Panama um, starting 25th minute around that uh, you could see the frustration and you could see that they really were playing in ugly and getting two penalties fifth goal was also a penalty against you speaks volumes and I really thought that a Panama player should walk um, before that I, I really thought it will happen it didn't happen uh, and I really liked how the coach Gomez went to Southgate and they had a nice chat and seemingly the chat was yeah let's keep it easy um we are not we are gonna play nice and Panama played nice and England yeah made it didn't put any effort in in anymore and who would blame them I totally understand that take it easy from that moment on uh, uh scrappy goal by Kane shot on his heel and got into the goal it will make it six and at that point England was first in the group but then Panama at least really really tried to get their one goal and I think England didn't put too much resistance in to have them score that goal and they got that goal from two substitute players. Um, I would have liked to see it seven uh, just because I think Belgium is the stronger squad and the fight for first place might be interesting but then look at my projected three that I had in the morning. Um, I don't care who they play from group H. I think 
both Belgium and England will be favored over the second uh, first place team from group H. I don't see it any other way. But the first place team from group G, it should the advance play in the quarterfinal against the winner of Brazil, Germany, at least if things stand that way. Uh, should Germany qualify in first place, then basically the teams could decide do we want to play Brazil or Germany. It's kind of how do you want to die? Uh, although I still like Belgium's chances against both teams, but if it was really a Brazil Germany matchup, you don't want to be in first place. Go in second place, and that's why, where if you look at the projected tournament, I have Belgium first in the group, but England goes to the semi finals because they have the easier route. So that's one to watch there, and maybe that's one why England didn't press forward for uh, the winning goal. Uh, not the winning goal, the seventh goal in a way. Well, uh, what else to say? Um, I actually coming around for this England team. I like their way playing forward. I like that they have a young team. Uh, this may be the England team, the first England team in a long time that I really can get behind. I think in 2002, I really, when they beat Germany in Munich 5-1 to qualify more or less. And then I, I really thought they will do something at World Cup. I expected them in the semifinals, if not going further, but the draw was in a way against them. Um, that England team I was on board with and this one I'm slowly getting on board with. I think they are at least a quarterfinal team and uh, they could do more. And as we all know, I said it before, uh, this England team, there's a lot of things coming from the youth sector. So I think England will be a team that we can all uh, look forward to be maybe getting some silverware in the next let's say eight years or so, I can see England winning something. Jersey matchup, I don't like Panama. It was just all red, but I really like the England uh, kit. The white jersey um, looks really nice with the little red accents, red numbers. I love England shirts with red numbers. And then they have the blue, the uh, three lion crests of course, because blue and then the blue swoosh. Uh, really nice together with the navy shorts. I think the only two little things that I didn't like are uh, the red numbers on the shorts. Um, I think white would be better. And then the kind of monochrome light blue crest on these shorts. That it looks a little bit out of place. Put a uh, regular crest on there and it looks perfect. So um, kit matchup overall was nice. I, I would say England safety. The Panama is just boring. It's just plain red and then have this white stripe here, which you don't see much. But yeah, I would have loved if Panama could have put some blue on their home shirt. Well, let me know what you thought about the game. Um, general kits, how you think it's, it is better to be first or second in this group. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.